Hello YouTube and welcome to the first redstone tutorial from Where's the Grief? Now I've been keeping the title of this tutorial quite secret for some time even though a couple of my friends know the title because it's pretty funny and the title of this tutorial is Redstone for Retards Now you're probably wondering why use retards? That's offensive. It, it's not offensive because retards is an acronym. Retard stands for redstone engineers that are really damn stupid. Now, using this acronym, it perfectly describes what someone is if they don't know what redstone does or how to build any of that stuff. So let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. All right. So one of the first things a person's going to do when they learn about redstone is mine out the ore. And then they're going to get this stuff called redstone. I like to call it redstone dust. A lot of other people call it that. Anyways, you can lay out lines of wire on the ground in Minecraft. Now, these lines of wire can be as long as you want. And it doesn't really matter because, um, just, you know, you could make this line go on forever. But I'm not going to do that. There are limitations, however. Um, the current, all right, well, there's a redstone torch. Um, I'll introduce you guys to that in a second. Redstone torch allows the line of wire to turn on. In this case, its setting in binary becomes one instead of zero. That's zero, that's one. Zero, one. I'll have a separate tutorial later on, probably episode two, which explains binary. It's not that complicated because it's base two. It's pretty simple. It's just hard to wrap your mind around it. All right, let me show you guys the rest of the stuff. All right, um, to start things off, I'll go ahead and show you one of the most important things in redstone besides the actual wiring itself or redstone dust, whatever else you want to call it. And the most important thing in redstone computing or whatever is a redstone torch now redstone torch is always on there are certain occasions where it can be turned off but that's much later when we get into logic gates I'll show you guys that in a different episode so basically when you place down a redstone torch you can affect the wiring and turn it on and set it to one not zero so there you go um, the next power source is a lever. Now a lever has two states, on and off, and it can be toggled by a player. This is probably one of the best things you could use if you're just testing things out or creating a combination lock or any other sort of thing out there in redstone stuff. Um, next thing is a button, and a button provides a burst of power to the line and this burst will stay on I don't know how much time like 0.5 of a second or something you can check that on the wiki if you really want to know and then um, yeah you can use these for doors but it's it's kind of difficult to get through doors this way because you got to run through before the door shuts again um, next thing is a stone pressure plate and a wooden pressure plate now there is a difference between these pressure plates. A wooden pressure plate can be activated by players and items. User entered your channel. Wait, who's there? Hello? Alright, Sammy, I'm filming something right now. I wanna come back later? <laughs> okay, right, anyways. Sorry. Anyways, when you place um, redstone dust or whatever else on a stone User pressure plate from your channel. it's it's not gonna activate it because this can only be activated by mobs and players well this one is activated by um, whatever else items so yeah that's pretty much the main power sources and one of the last things is a detector rail and detector rails are really neat because they allow you to create train stations and stuff 
where you could put down a minecart and when okay well imagine there's more track here of whatever and a minecart comes along and a minecart goes right over this when it goes over this this is gonna light up so let me grab one so when I place this minecart down this lines on so yeah that's that um, we'll do logic gates in a little bit and there's the other thing where I think I mentioned earlier that um, redstone can only travel 15 blocks there's such thing as repeaters which can be used to amplify the signal continue the signal to go on but there are limitations on repeaters because they, they just there's delay and I guess that's why it's a repeater in a way it has four settings and I'll get into that later oh actually um one more thing tripwire this has been added in 1.3 basically here well let me undo the tripwire uh, you get tripwire hooks which will be which you'll be able to put on the side of blocks and in between um, where is string great what happened to the search function here string so once you place string down between the tripwire hooks and the length you want it it's gonna make a click sound and now the string is attached to the hooks and this will allow you to detect when someone hits the wire and that detection takes the output and creates a redstone signal I like tripwire because it works like a pressure plate it's not just a one-time activation as if it's a button of the sort um, okay yeah that's that's pretty much it for tripwire uh, we'll get into whatever else later. Um, this is Where's the Grief. Thanks for watching the first episode of Redstone for Retards. Out.